Good evening. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us. Our top story tonight, new details on the murder of a 22-month-old boy in Bradenton and the man charged in his death. The child's mother telling sheriff's deputies her husband, 25-year-old Montez McNeil, had been abusive with the boy and his five brothers, and it went too far. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us now from Bradenton with more on this story. Adam. Yes, yeah, Scott and Haley, when deputies were called to this home on Monday night, they were told that they'd be responding to a child with a high fever, but an investigation revealed what really happened to this toddler was much more disturbing. This quiet Bradenton street was a frenzy Monday night as neighbors and law enforcement tried to revive an unconscious child. There was a police car right, a sheriff's car right there and a sheriff's car down there. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Avita Guerriere knew her neighbor Montez McNeil as a handyman at the apartments and used to work with McNeil's wife. I didn't want to be like, you know, the nosy neighbor, like what's going on? Like, and all that stuff. So I was just, I was outside. I seen her cry, so I just came in the house. McNeil is the stepfather of his wife's six sons, ranging in age from six to 12. After the 22 month old was pronounced dead, an autopsy revealed he had a ruptured kidney, fractured skull, and seven broken ribs. The injuries are consistent with child abuse. The boy's mother was at work during the incident, but later admitted to deputies she had seen McNeil punching the children like they were adults multiple times. And McNeil had been upset with the boy lately because he had diarrhea and wasn't potty trained. According to the report, McNeil later confessed, saying most of the injuries were from rough playing around. Then the two slipped in the bathroom and the boy's head hit the corner of the tub. We don't have the complete autopsy report, but we felt at this time the appropriate charge would be aggravated battery on a child. Gary Air has a hard time believing the child's mother would allow such abuse to continue. She loved her babies. Her boys was she loved her boys. But in her interview, detectives say the mother realized she put Montez before her children. And the Florida Department of uh, Children and Families will be sending a critical incident rapid response team to review this death. Apparently, there was already an open investigation into the family. According to their website, the children had only recently been reunited with the family. So those the remaining five children are now back in protective custody, and the sheriff's office says that their investigation is ongoing. In Bradenton, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News.